uh, if you are interested in the math of creating the ADC, um, it is calculated by the negative logarithm of the ratio between the DWI with the weighting compared with that with no weighting. So for example, um, this one, we, if we plot the signal of a liver tumor and compare the ratio between the signal created by one with weighted uh, with uh, provision of weighting in this case a b value of 500 and compare that with the b value of zero or without weighting we get a decrease in signal and if we get uh, compute for the negative logarithm of that ratio we'll get uh, 0.7 and then if we compare that with the negative logarithm of the signal of this normal tissue compared to its signal when there was no gradient given, such as a B0, we will get uh, 1.6. Then we ask the MRI machine to compute for an ADC value and those with a slow loss of signal will be denoted or plotted as dark on the map while fast loss of signal as bright and that will give us the ADC image. Now why do we need different B values? So remember this image so we have intracellular water and then extracellular water which Rel shows relatively less movement when compared to freely moving water. Now, what about water within blood vessels? So, let's compare uh, the movement of water within the blood vessel compared with a normal parenchymal cell and with an abnormal cell. So, this may represent a tumoral cell or an infarcted cell. Uh, when we fire a low B value or low gradient, to this tissues, we will create something like this. Water within the blood vessels are dark. Tumor is bright. This is because the water within the blood vessels are fast moving. Therefore, when we hit the second uh, gradient, the protons have already moved. Hence, there is a decrease in signal. However, notice that the tumor here remains bright. Also notice here that there is a part of the liver parenchyma that we are not sure if this is part of the diffusion or is part of the normal parenchyma. Because in the low B value, there is not much contrast between the tumor and the normal cell. So, what if we use a high B value? Uh, by the way, this is called the black blood image because at low B values, uh, fast moving blood will create a low signal. Hence, it's called the black blood image. So next, let's try a high B value. When we fire a high B value of a gradient, we will get something like this. Notice that the parenchyma or normal cells of the liver are relatively darker compared to this one, especially this area here that we are not sure if it's normal or abnormal tissue. But we can see here that the tumoral tissue retains its bright signal. So when we compare this HCC compared to the liver parenchyma, the lesion stands out. And that is the benefit of using a high B value. So why is this so? Because um, inside the tumor, you have uh, closely packed cells which get hit by the first gradient and the second gradient. That's why it retains its high signal.